2016 Prius new condenser and getting ready for a recharge and I'm going to show you this method on adding oil and dye. So there's oil and dye in here. We got 40 milliliters of ND11 oil in here for the electric compressor. We have the dry nitrogen that's going to do a dry nitrogen. This is used for the high pressure decay test and flushing in the oil. I help push it so I don't suck it back out when I put it on the vacuum pump. Right now it's under a vacuum. We got the scale, the field piece scale, field piece vacuum pump with the field piece gauge set. All Bluetooth. And if I don't catch this on me and knock it over while I climb up here. So you can see we're already under a vacuum. We're down to 451 microns, not nearly enough yet. And uh, because when you turn it off, it'll rise. So let's, we're gonna put this in, say the high side right here. Turn off the high side so you don't draw a vacuum. I'm still drawing vacuum in on the low side. Disconnect. Well, first, let me bleed a little uh, nitrogen through. Oh, I already have this bled through. This is already ready. So I could do this, this. Now what I'm gonna do here, just for a second, I already have nitrogen to this point, but I'm gonna disconnect this hose. But I don't wanna suck in ambient air because there's moisture in ambient air. So I have the low side off, I have my vacuum off, I have my high side open, just a second see what I did that's all I did and then close that there is now high pressure nitrogen in this when I open it you'll hear a hiss that's it so now what I did was because it was under a vacuum under 500 microns I did not want to introduce moisture into the system so now that is filled with dry nitrogen then I'm gonna make a mess with green stuff on my fingers here because I didn't bring my rag over because I'm doing a video we got our 40 milliliters of ND11. Close this back down. That's it. And see, I didn't tighten it. My fingers just, it touched. You see that? You don't even have to go that far. But if you, if you never put any force on these, you won't damage the, god dang it, um, <laughs> trader valves inside there. Okay, so now if I could do this with one hand, let me see if I could jam that in there. Yeah, there we go. Now, right now this is screwing down and we're pushing 40 milliliters of ND11 there. And I have five milliliters of uh, UV dye, actually a little less than five milliliters, like two, two and a half milliliters, very little because this is a tiny system. You don't need a whole five milliliters with concentrated dye, that's it. We now got our oil inside the system. Now, you wanna make sure you get, don't forget and just take this off because you'll suck air and you'll undo all the work you did when you were evacuating. Oh, let's, our battery timed out. After 15 minutes, the batteries turn off to save the batteries inside the system. Okay, so we back this out. So when we disconnect this, you don't suck in air. You do not wanna suck in air into your system. And, that's backed out. We can now take this off. So we're isolated right there. We got that out of the way. So now you don't wanna start taking vacuum out of here because you see this line? This line is all filled with liquid oil. If I hook this up and I open it up to take vacuum, what I'll do is I'll draw the vacuum, the oil that's located in the valve in here into my hose and backwards. You don't wanna do that. So in this case, what we're doing, doing the old one-handed thing. There you go. And I'm thinking of video and nothing out. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push a little bit of nitrogen, just in case I got anything in there. I have this cracked. I don't know if you heard that little hiss, but the little bit of nitrogen I trapped in here at like 100 PSI just purged through the holes and came out here. Now I can tighten this. Now I know for sure I have no air in my hose. Now 
close 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 now i could put this down all right you got that this is down this is not open yet so let's open this and you see my vacuum is gone now because just that little bit from the flash of the oil any moisture any air got in there lost a little bit of vacuum but what we're going to do is we're going to put and push dry nitrogen through the red hose and we're going to push that oil down to the expansion valve and backwards down to the bottom it's going to go into the bottom and be pushed into the subcooling part far away from your high side valve so you don't suck the oil back up when you turn back on the vacuum because you don't you want to put the oil in and then suck it back out and get into your vacuum pump so high side is open now watch this low side this is closer we're going to see a positive pressure over here open close that's it do a little bit more closed that's it so what I did, because this is turned up to about 100 PSI, it hit that real rapidly and spread out and cleared out this valve of oil. It cleared out this little section of line of oil. So now I could draw a vacuum. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a vacuum from the low side. So let me close this. Because I just pushed dry nitrogen through the system. And now I'm gonna make it go through the entire system and draw back out the low side. So it's called a sweep. I already had it down below 500 microns. So let's do that. Open this back up. It's only four PSI. It's not gonna kill my vacuum pump at four PSI of dry nitrogen. Let's do that. So now we're only evacuating out the low side. And you'll see the lag that this is at negative 28. This is at negative 10, 12. And there's a little lag because it's only pulling the dry nitrogen that I added through the system on the high side. And it has to go all the way through the high side, through the expansion valve, sweep through the evaporator, come back the suction line up to this point from the evaporator right here, and then come out. So that's called a sweeping action. And when you have really moisture contaminated systems, you do that three times. There's good videos on that. Jim Bergman talks about that, other guys. When you have really moisture contaminated systems, it's called triple evac per nitrogen purge. And uh, that's covered in other topics. I've done videos on that. And you already can see we're down to 18 microns, 1600 microns. Okay, so I'm just gonna open it up on the other side and do both sides right now. See that little surge for a second, and then it goes right back down. Now this will stay on here probably another 30 minutes, another hour, when I get all the way down to about 100 microns. And uh, let's jump on to the other one. So on the other one, I'm just doing the one hose method. One single vacuum pump, one single hose to the low side. You can see the high side valve right here, and I'm just gonna add one hose to the high side and that's it it's done really simple oh of course using the ball valve for isolation and that'll be that method on this one on the next video